have not inherited too late from our ancestors. We have borrowed it from our children. I met the shores of oblivion. Lonely and perplexed, I stand on ancient dunes and stare across the eerie stillness of the sea. that I behold are memories of times bygone or premonitions of the things to come. We have not inherited Thule from our ancestors. We have borrowed it from our children. Work or deed of hand of long forgotten days this maiden's perfume is the summer breeze. She picked it up in waving seas of meadows ripe with hay. The little spirits ride on top. They bring home the most important crop. Other children at the stove. We want to fire it and make what I know you always love, Grandma's most delicious cake. Still I am standing there on pale white sands. The bones of who knows who are strewn across and cleansed by salty waters ever going back and forth. How many years the blaze of an indifferent sun has bleached those nameless skulls. I then turn back at ocean's face, at Aegir's quiet play, that made the waves turn into pictures of a distant time and space. I cannot say what caught me more, the giant's dreamy daughters or the beauty of the magic world itself, that rose there from the waters by the power of the spell. It is a memory of spring to come that lends itself then to my glance when clad in handsome garments young boys and girls learn how to dance. And I am speechless when I see the scene so infinitely simple and serene and yet so all significant as if I suddenly could understand what everything in life is all about. If 
only I could tell you all the things the ocean waves relate to me, the many little wonders lost in time. You'd surely cut the puppet master strings that make you quack along 